do it. They ain't ready for you. MW2 is going to be a ridiculous year. It's just been insane. What other dirty tricks have you got up your sleeves? They ain't ready for you. Will it be sugar, spice, and everything nice, or slugs, snails, and puppy dog tails? Let's find out. Quads on the left. Working with Death Dot to try to shell this out. 1v1 into the corner, and the Woba Bobs. They're able to step back in. But now, like I mentioned, look to Abuza. Alba staying alive just as long as possible. Lynn's for the front now, needs to break something open. You need to bust open a hole here in the front of this setup, and I think his own nade ends up even assisting with a bit of that damage. But it does allow Cobra to get in. He is on five in a row. He's on six in a row. Streaks it! What? Makes it a little bit more realistic for a situation of handle. Yaza gets right into business, though, to try and retake A, and it doesn't work. Shots into Sukri, but not a kill. Ooh. And now Twiz left up in a one versus three. It's a nice stick on towards Sukri. 25 seconds on the clock, though, though. Twiz still oh, gets the oh knife my. against Yako. And now again, much more realistic. Kira, one versus one, but you've got to locate Super. You haven't had any information on him basically all round besides the fact that he was in green earlier on. But the read from what Twiz read. is in. And what a read. What a one versus three. Twiz with a perfect read. I mean, we say a read, but in all reality, I'm pretty sure that Twiz also saw that up top. So just kind of hoping he could be blessed by the COD gods as God RX has tried to anchor things from the back staircase. Good eliminations from the first two. Last one left inside is Snoopy, and he will lose the 1v1 to God RX, establishing Rocker into the new hardpoint early. That's great kills for God RX in the back. Three in a row now for him. Puts him into double digits, but Rupert is able to actually find this little two piece. That does open things up for Smog Alpha. Up the wealth of the hardpoint time for Rocker, and then you've kind of got both they ARs watching either doorways. So it definitely does establish what we were kind of considering as the role adjustment from Rocker Academy. But the problem is Smog Alpha are kind of doing the exact same thing, but with focus. And these trades are leading to some pretty convincing breaks in their own right as Smog Alpha gets into Blacksmith. I love that route there from Infinite. Just kind of hits through the back, make sure that all this should be covered, and he'll probably show what he's up to at this moment in time. Finally, though. I think that's actually a cruise missile that might well just come down. Lenave Del Mysterio, they get those first wave of gunfights through. It forces Clutch Rain away and Rencor. Well, I think that might be why. Rencor now on seven in a row. He has a clear cruise missile himself. Oh, he's still piecing. 19 and 16 now for Rencor. Has the read on a Twiz as well. How to give him a nine in a row. <laughs> oh. Now he's got a head glitch to be playing with. 40 seconds remaining. You're down by four lives. You need to be systematic if you are Clutch Rain to deal oh with Rancor God. on the A zone. 68. Down by 100 points. We've seen comebacks happen in Fortress before. Thresh off to a great start. Three kills coming through for him. Rupert teasing with the idea of trying to find that fourth. Just throwing some shoulders in here and there. And Thresh off screen does continue to put together a five spree. Every single member is done to get through. The test just a little bit of that time. And now Fame continues to go on a spree of his own. Arguably a bit of a misstep there from Thresh. Long enough, but Pander through the middle. Gets into the back for only a short time though. And how about that from Thresh? Three in a row. Gets Ooh. himself on to four. Smog, not done yet, but watch out in the back. Here comes Rial. Seven through two hard points worth to be played. 52 plays up against 35. Now it's Lenave Del Mysterio looking from the outside in. Yako is going to be that first point of contact to get some help from behind. It's a two for one trade. The flood is in. Now you just have to be... Dealing with these last lurking players for Clutch Rain, Lenave Del Mysterio might have cemented the back 30. Actually, Brown on five in a row, though, again. We were talking about him having the performance that Clutch Rain require here in this game. And oh, Yako! We're talking about Fibron. Yako just comes through and completely ruins his day. Pure all at the same time. So everything starts to look a lot better for Smog Alpha. 30 seconds left on P2. Snoopy is going to miss one player in the back. And now it's two Rocker players that oh. are trying to break through. But Thresh is able to find the first. Can he get the second? If he can get one more, maybe another streak that can help them on rotation. Over the top of the staircase, tagged up down to 30 HP. Trophy system keeping him safe. Help from his SMGs, he gets... Maybe a play towards A? Ooh, I was gonna say, this is dangerous. No one's watching the mid cross from the other side of the map. And I think that was supposed to be, let's throw a bunch of utility, catch him out in the middle, and then full flood. I actually like, love that play that sometimes we see it here and there from teams, but usually you have like the one guy go to the right side of the windows to throw the stretch all the way at the top of the red tower. This is a position that he loves to play. And well, nice snipe comes through over the top there from Pander. So two versus two. 45 seconds left. Rupert's running around. Pistol in hand. Just oh. can't finish off that last shot. Snoopy there for the quick trade. Pander with the scope still in hand. One versus one with 35 seconds left. Three in a row now for Yako. That will secure the back 15, back 20. Full of Del Mysterio. Now we focus on the clutch rain inside the barbershop. Kind of a bit wrong there with the cut and scissors, but regardless, clutch rain. 
in control now of the early time here on Barbershop. Lenave Del Mysterio should spawn close. The spawn out actually for Isaac here will leave clutch rain a little bit weak. And Super come through with the kill versus Fibron here. Lenave Del Mysterio will be able to get back in. There's still going to be clutch rain knocking at the door. Super, super Ooh. in for two. Isaac though might will have the final say. It won't be for long though as Super comes through. Clears everything out. Dead Silence will expire, waiting to see if there's going to be a check from Pander, who is not entertaining the idea as of yet, but is getting closer and closer. And maybe if he moves through the doorway, he sees him and sure does. The Savoring Rocker Academy. I do feel for Snoopy in that situation, though. It's like a spot where you just never know if you're safe to plan, especially after you just bang open the door in hand. So not really where he wants to be, but they will wow. be able to at least sniff out Real. So 3v2 on the retake. Snoopy trying to enter into the site. They'll find fame. Got a Rex now. One versus three required. Just has to try to find the player off of the bomb. First one is good. Second one will follow him. Got a Rex gets around the wall in time. He doesn't even need the third kill. Nice play from Got Rex. Huge amount of patience coming through. And that puts Rocker up by three. Early on, they're going to have to get past Exnit. They want to get that done. Mythix has just seen him. Detain will be the player to execute, but it will not just be Detain. And Exit knows this. He needs to waste some time for the rest of the team to come along. And, well, a kill to boot will be pretty good. A second kill, even better. Well, he put the shots in towards Chagster. He knows where he is. Should just be able to deliver on the kill. And now Detain too. <laughs> I was going to say the pre-fire would be a little out of character, but Vampire killed out Detain there in that one versus one. And King of Body here, these guys, I think they're just going to waste some time for the dead side to come. On the way with the double stack, Trophy says I'm doing a lot of work, but as the gunfights start to now overwhelm the hard point, it's just down to who finds the kills first, and so far, it's actually all Smog Alpha. Flank from Fame, gets on to contest just in the nick of time, and the clock continues to dwindle as he takes down Thresh. Three for Fame as he saves the round for Rocker. He saves the round, big move. Last couple of gunfights lost over here, and Chaxter, well, he wants to save the day, but not able to get it done. This is a flurry of kills coming through here for Team Falcons that should secure them this hill. Pain's going to slow down a little bit when it comes down to these rotational gunfights. Didn't exactly have any help while your team's soaking up the scrap time. Maybe just wait for another player to look through the B-cut before you just bulldoze your way through dark because Exonate is up top, and this is a godlike position when it comes down to this hard point. Brody just has so much help around the hard point. You just keep peeking all these windows. It's on a three spree. Great support and gunfights coming out from Exnid. Team Veer might well be setting up a pinch play coming out from the Tain on the other side. I'm not sure even matters if it's just <laughs> one-sided. So really at this moment, Smog, they were all they were doing was looking for Pander. They were doing their math. They were counting numbers. And they do take down the Lurker. So now they can start to focus forward. Fame right back up top on forward. Around, drops down and finds a 1 HP Snoopy or so we hope based on how rapidly he took him off the map. They spawning over by small. So the middle of the map was immediately consumed by the Falcons. And yeah, it's just off the respawn. They're able to recontest over towards the ASD King of Body 4 3. Especially for Chaxter, who does make his way through the tunnel side. King of Body is there though on five in a row. He gets a sixth, maybe a seventh. It would be a cruise missile on the board. Again, that's what Team Vera were not able to get done, despite the fact that Chaxter and Mythics had put up streaks earlier on. There is actually not going to be six. I think a teammate took that kill away from him, but nonetheless, the result is the same. Team Falcons, when all these gunfights on the outside of their kill, Team Veer cannot get anywhere near, and this is a stark difference to what we saw on the last hard point, where the hard point went 30 for 30 between the two teams. King of Body now looking for number seven. He will find it. That is a cruise missile that has been earned. But back into what this game right here. Deliver trying to get some of these opening gunfights. Furious able to get one, but in comes Gizmo towards the back line here. He's been such a pain in the rear for Sign so far in this hard point. And he might continue to prove so. Yet another kill. Surely not the 1v1 Woo! against Jimiko. Surely not, Gizmo. What are you doing? You disgusting man. Oh, Furious will get that final blow on a zero. But nonetheless, I mean, Gizmo's presence has absolutely been felt. Is just belittling all of Signs with so many bullets. Knows that we it out. The break eventually in here for the originals. Unfortunately for Zero, his uh, life even after death uh, still means something as the trophy system will take out one player. Uh, but there you go, it's karma, isn't it? Yumiko takes himself down with a nade and that will effectively result in Furious. Well, I was going to say the original is taking control of the hill, but Furious comes through and he does take control of the kill. Three kills in a row. Why not make it four? That is 15 seconds that will inch them closer to the end play for the originals. They just need one good rotation, Ooh. and F-Dot just comes and ruins the day, doesn't he? With a kill against Deborah and a kill against Liver 2. Furious continuing his spree on the other side of the map, and it will be Gizmo who comes in from behind. Now it's the originals spawning towards... I mean, the B-cut is going to be where that contact might come through, but still pushes all the way through L. 
Gonna be able to marginalize that life deficit 3v3. Oh, Dave up top, though, with the boomstick. Gonna take Journey down 2v3. Time is at the utmost essence for Denzel and Lucky to force the play. And Lucky elsewhere has actually moved Dave from that power position. Rafi. Not too sure whether he actually picks up the sniper of Dave in that position, but uh -oh. it doesn't matter if Henry's able to do this on the back line. If Henry's Woo! able to do this on the back line, they will take it here. Nick oh my god, Alan! What an insane game! I mean, just the amount of highlight moments that we get out of this game is just absurd. And we get down to the nitty gritty in the end. There's so many streaks. Academy were favorited to come out of the gates, be a top favorite playoff team and get to the promised land. Uh, towards the end of stage one, they crossed that 200 point mark. It's almost a 100 point game here. And for a minute, this is where it gets scary. Again, I, I alluded to earlier, uh, you know, this is kind of your bread and butter overall. That hard point mode, it's where you want to be able to take those maps. Win or lose, you were losing close or winning close every single time. This has not been close by any stretch of the imagination. And Pander's in the back line on five in a row looking for streaks here for the first time in this map a minute 40 from fame a minute 15 or excuse me a minute 40 from god rex and a minute 15 from fame and now as panders on a seven streak it's 20 seconds left for the game here you can't win on it but on the rotation that you've already started to get yourselves out on you can easily take map one and i get them having to push that p3 time because you don't want to put them within 10 points of closing it out well they are within 14 so not looking much better for you and a p4 that you got maybe five seconds off of the last go around this is worst case scenario for omit uh, simply put you're just trying to focus and regain for this next map pander lining up more looking to finish this one on a nine plus streak what more damage can he do he's back down rock academy for now but i think the idea is coming in capsule's gonna go check that this push might be working towards b as you're seeing nothing over at a and that'll be the call out yep working the way over here at least a couple how do your teammates get back over here in response? Well, you see Gravity already starting to rotate his way out from that right side field, and his capsules now at 11-3. and three. This search and destroy performance has been inspiring on many levels. This forces Rocker Academy all the way towards the back side of things, and this Pander can't connect on the snipe in towards the top. Pixie will be able to back off, and with 25 seconds, now it's got a Rex who falls, and Pander left in a one versus three. Capsule towards the right side on the truck laying down. Gets great timing. The information from Omit was too good, and it was all thanks to Capsule making the big play. Looking much more connected in that search and destroy. And once yeah, I. You're already being looked at by Shawnee 2. Yuli tagged up here. 10 seconds left to make something happen. T Real goes for the bomb, but not more than that. Yuli wow. turns for the second. It's just not to be. And how about that? Big brain Boston plays as they win search and destroy. Again, I know that chat's going to absolutely relish in this statement. Doug makes the play. Sensor comes around back, whether it was dead silence or not. He comes all the way through P2 lob. P4 in a corner, I promise you. I just seen him. He's dead, dead, dead. Oh, behind you, man. Main, okay. dead. Turn on. Nice, nice, nice. Could Map suit could be behind us. I'll pick up the right off spot. I have the right. Okay, okay. I'm only got Eddie. I'm gonna get across, okay? I already got through, I already got through. It's fine, that's oh, fine. Bottom. Please, mate. Watch out, watch out. He's watching me. He's uh, on the mid couch, bo or couch boxes. I'm stunned. He could info. They could info. Okay, there is main. One's going main, 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 main. I promise. I'm playing a bit. One's in main, one's in main, Luis. Could be there, could be there. I'm playing in bed right now. Playing in bottom. Yeah, main, main, got him there. Playing in bottom. Back on me, Chandelier, he got me. Where's he going? Our back stairs, he's gonna pinch me. Playing bottom bed, playing bottom bed. Nice. He's on me close. Head. Okay, shake, shake. I have bottom bed right now. I have the right again. Bottom bed. I have bottom bed, Luis. What the? I couldn't see. Where is he going? Uh, he's bottom bed. One's also. Okay, one's also front info. Two bottom bed, two bottom bed on me. Heard you, heard you. I'll hold the hold. You can bottom, looking bottom. I have top, I have top. Oh, where is he? He wants tolling, he wants tolling. Go ahead, go ahead. Spawn B. I hear, I hear them. One's pushed up, Brian. Close. One's up, up right now. The barches, the barches. The barches. Yeah, yeah. He pushed me, he pushed me. I'm one shot, I'm one shot. It's close info, close info. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. I have your main, I have your main. I have your main. I have your main. Pitcher left. Let's go. I got him. I'm one shot. He's it. Left, left, left. I'm one shot. Nice. I'm a bullet. I'm a bullet. Yeah, bottom bed. Dub, he's going to main. Going to main. Yeah, info, info. One main. I have main, I have main. Jump at the sky info. I'm jumping at the sky info. Dead. Main, I have main. Shit, Another one connector, connector on couches. They're running down the middle, they have to hit it. Another one, shoot it. Let's go. Woo, let's go, boys. I think they're going for an entirely different strategy, not a beat. 
push right off the rip. Instead, they want to get things moving on A. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to A, you do see teams kind of leave one player on the point and send some players for some early pushes over towards B. Shorty in the middle of the map, though, dealing with some early pressure from TFL Enterprises on the flank. That should shut down basically TFL entirely on this effort to stop the A capture. One more player does go through. Looking for a couple of exits out of line, but good job from Yuli there with the tack. We'll find two upon the exit, so at least you know your flank is somewhat secure, but there's still Boston players over by the shops. I'm not sure if secure is the right answer, or maybe it will be a fellow here, the security guard for the back line. Doing an excellent job at keeping Boston Academy out of the spawn. Sensor, though, has managed to filter on through and could well be the savior here for Boston. 1v1 against Yuli. He's been thrown his way, and Yuli gets the better of Sensor in the back line there, but does waste a little bit of time for Kremp to do exactly that. Yuli and Fellow will now fall. Kremp looking for another one on the Ooh. L desk, and he will find it. What break, what pinch attack can you find if your team were to get into this one early and not battle back and wipe away the lead you just earned? Oh, fire. Beautiful shots. Top. Head ripped off a bank. Now you can sit here. Breathe a little easier if your team warp. As you start to make this pinch on in, Pentagram, nade onto Johnny, firing towards the top of the building. Contest should be here in just a moment around the corner. Up the staircase, here comes Pierce. Gunless around the corner, not able to get him killed just yet, but his team war is still trying to get all their bodies set up on towards the top of Cantina. They need to start making their way in towards the bottom, creating this pinch up the staircase from the backside as well. Yes, you have bodies in the top here, and this thing starts to challenge around the corner. It's going to be another break from Iron Blood Gaming. This series, this game, not quite over yet. It's going to be a difficult opportunity and task for Iron Blood to start working their way back up in towards what Team War has accumulated for themselves. Favor of Team War for now is Johnny's able to clean up a couple of kills, rotating through this p4 barbershop side can you hold on can you keep this 40 round stiff arm as you said that you've garnered for iron blood gaming you want to get an early break where you can but they are shooting quite straight at this point of the series <laughs> Ooh. johnny having his way right now though the score line doesn't show it all that much he's been shooting pretty well since map number two well he's up to four in a row on his streak here one shot on the counter he's hanging it so there's one shot around I have mid, I have all of mid, I have all of mid. I have mid, I have mid. I'm in, I'm Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, Let's go, man. For contest on the way. The originals could still win this here, just down to lanes. And he locks in a little bit of extra time. No longer can the originals win here. And he wins the gunfight on exit. Look at the minimap. Look at the rotation. Oh. Obama bombs are winning every single gunfight. They're going to be set up at new. This is still doable. The originals need 10 seconds for the win. You're going to see them slow down, but they are being picked apart. Lens on six. Cruise missile earned. And oh. through the wardrobe. That's the question. They're taking the long route behind. Shawnee in for one, Crimper for another. But you've got to dive in towards the hill, and nobody's done exactly that. They've got the kills around the kill, but not inside. And Ghosty's three piece proves too strong. Go on a map five, baby. I mean, you really got a tip into Boston Academy. I mean, they were, at one point, they were down by somewhere near like 75, 80 points throughout the first set of hard points. They claw their way back, but... All that action. Too real. Slowly but surely. No dead silence to work with here. So has to crouch his way through. Sensor? He hasn't exactly seen him. He's got an idea that somebody's managed to penetrate the cantina. Shots through from Sensor. It is just to Ooh. scare him into Bean's line of sight, though, with a sniper rifle. And I'm going to have to do this from Banana, but he's going to tough have a tough gunfight first and foremost, and yet there's yeah. beans. He don't miss, man. This guy is up. All right, Boston now, two rounds. All right, can they make it three? Things going well at the start here. Is Shawnee able to draw the first blood? Yuli climbing through the window, though. Only picks up one, but a second as well, and manages to penetrate Cantina. Bomb now down for Boston Academy. That will be a problem for Shawnee, who does sit up top. Beans isn't exactly... ...for anything. Every single corner being watched at the moment. Finally, Shawnee will activate now that he's got the support of Beans. But again, Yuli has been sat in that corner for the longest time. He was starting to gather dust. Beans now will be looking to put some dust behind him here as he beans himself towards the site. Sniper rifle in hand. No. Vaznev 2. He manages to make the second. No, no way does Beans do this. No. Flies out. Lays himself down for the one versus winning at Yuli. And oh my goodness me. That would have been one of the best plays of the 2023 season if it happened. <laughs> Is it a bird? It's a plane. No, it's a flying bean out of top cantina. Ethan Enterprise is going to bull rush their way towards A. Volley utility over the ghosty lands one on towards sensor. A lot of value lost there for Boston Academy. It's three and seven at the moment. Nonetheless, 
Austin still getting involved here. Kremp could well blow this play wide open, but has to be cautious of Turiel, who's sitting in the corner. Instead, he gets shot from Ghosty at the top of the stairs. Kremp has to escape, and well, he's running around to do so. Shawnee gets involved in the mixer, though, and we'll pick up two. Now Cantina control for Boston Academy. Shawnee in a good position. Three missiles already called in as well. Beans throws some shots. He's going to reprise all the way through tunnel. Communication's coming through. Shawnee just needs to lay on his stomach. Wait for the push to come back in. Finds one. Now a 1v2 for Fellow. For the aces, Shawnee. Fellow here. Would be a great clutch. He's looking in the right direction if you want to take out Beans. Just flies towards though. And Shawnee will pick up the ace in the round. And Shawnee okay. is absolutely responsible for that one. Not just because of the ace, but because he effectively flips. What is a horrific situation? That is a two versus four. Yeah, it is. And most importantly as well, not only did you get the cruise and seven for Yuli, what we got here, hold your horses, nobody be surprised. It's an A push. Yeah, but look at Cramper in the middle of the map. And oh! No, no, trophy. no trophy system for T Fell. Beans will take you down. Oh. Cramp through the middle of the map. I was focused on Cramp in the middle of the map. I thought he was gonna be the one to blow the They're stacking A. Yeah, they will. Time for the headbutt on towards A. This time, Fellow swings out for center. First blood down. Kremp in for the trade. Kremp looking for a second, and Shawnee has already drawn blood elsewhere. Shawnee wow. for three in the final round. It was four. Two rounds ago, it's three here. Boston Academy, they continue their trail of impressive upsets. War, Ophelion, and now T Fell Enterprises flawless. No more. There's.